Hey guys, we're on Spotify. You want to hear the audio version? The podcast comes out a day early on Spotify, so make sure you subscribe. Yeah, and give us five stars. Uh, welcome back to the Harry Potter Show with me, Gwen, on, and my co-host, Eliak. Oh, uh, we have. Uh, and today we're interviewing with Midnight Call. How you guys doing? Happy to be here. Good. It's a it's a cool show, dude. It's a cool concept because I feel like Hyperpop's not really as yeah as big as it was, but it's it's cool that there's still stuff like this. That's kind of what we yeah. talk about. Yeah. Um, like, um, um, yeah. So introduce yourself to the people who may know who you are. Introduce I yourself. I am a asshole on the internet. Let's just start with that. I'm not a nice person on the internet. Uh, but it's like a sat- satirical music channel where I review music on TikTok, YouTube, whatever. Been doing it for about two years now. And Damn, two years? Yeah, full time two years. So I'm uh, I'm loving it every second. It's fun, man. I'm doing my dream job, so I can't really complain. Nice. How did you get your name? You know, it's funny. I was actually talking to someone about this last night. Midnight Colt. Uh, my name is actually Colton. So oh, obviously, nice. like people would call me Colt all the time. But before nice. the TikTok stuff, before any of that, I was uh, I was a music video director, and all the artists I'd, I'd edit and film the music videos, and I was always sending drafts of the videos at like two or three in the morning, and it huh? became this running joke. They're like, dude, once it hits midnight, you just start going off, because I work very very late at night usually. Um, so midnight cult came from all these artists just being like, dog, why are you not asleep right now? I, I was going to bed. I, I was averaging like. Going to sleep at like four or five. Uh, Damn, that's late. <laughs> just working. And then, uh, yeah, that's Midnight Colt. Damn, came that's from, the grind. Uh, came from that. That is the grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 some people are hurt. Some people work better at night, I heard. Yeah, I think it I think it really depends on the person. And yeah, that's it true. It depends on the, on the job you're doing. Yeah, uh, true. I think locking in. I think when you're working at like a very late hour, you have a lot less distractions. Uh, so that's why I prefer it. I have done a few morning editing sessions. Very, It's very rare for that to happen. I relate to that workaholic mindset and I feel like at night there's something, like for music especially, like you can get something yeah, you can, it's, you, you it's get really almost, get into a vibe. It's almost uh, like a little bit more calming knowing that you yeah, don't, yeah, it's, it's you don't quieter have to at worry night. about you know do i have to go do this or that like what are you gonna go you're not gonna go grab food or whatever it's two in the morning uh so I, yeah i get that. you but like it's quieter it. sometimes at night right. you can focus <laughs> more probably yeah i've done i've done i think the first like viral video i made i made it probably like two or three in the morning damn yeah it was funny what was the first viral video oh man yeah, yeah, was the first viral this video is, this is full circle uh yeah. it was a break-ins video oh it was no yeah. way it was fans of Breakins, and yeah. I made that very late at night. I think I just posted it because, like, I wasn't on a posting schedule. I was kind of just posting videos here and there. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, then I posted it. Woke up, and it was like I think forty thousand views or something. Oh shit! Oh no way! Damn, I didn't, I didn't expect that. And then uh, I'm still doing that series. Uh, it's, it's taken me far, but you know, it all started. It all started. 2 a.m. sitting yeah. in the same room I'm sitting in right now. Yeah, was nice. That the first viral video that you did with that concept of hating on the artist to then go crazy because the song is yeah, amazing. Yeah, that was, was the first uh, one. That, Breakins was the first one. That Breakins you did that? was the first one. I had wow. gone viral on like you know other other accounts where you know my face wasn't in it or I edited the video and it went viral or other. I, mm-hmm. I never went viral with me. I actually did have one before that that was me. It was like a cover art video, but yeah, it was like a different time period, I'd say. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's a, it was a good feeling, and I'm glad. I'm I'm really like excited to still be able to to do this every day. That's awesome. I feel like you promote like hyper pop, and then and then like rap, like a lot of like the big like if they're new song is really fire You're yeah like really yeah i think you guys i started and this is honestly like anyone on tiktok i'd recommend they do the similar route because it's i mean it's worked two or three times for me at least um i was targeting that hyper pop niche just because i've looked at artists like eric or break and their aries uh-huh. and they've all had these crazy dedicated fans yeah they you know? do yeah, that's I feel like that's you could probably attribute a lot of the success of your page to that as well. Yeah. Um, because if you see a video on I don't know Kendrick Lamar, every everyone's talking about Kendrick Lamar. But if you yeah, see a true. video on your favorite artist that nobody's yeah, really talking about, I think 
all the fans are gonna kind of go to that video. Right. It's uh, yeah, it kind of sucks them in. That was the concept, yeah. and then after I saw success with that, I was like, all right, well, we got people here. Uh, let's go do videos on Yeet or Playboy Cardi or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of groovy. I did actually uh, plan on only doing Hyperpop, and then uh, I think we all know that's kind of a bubble. It's hard to break out. Oh, yeah. So, right. Had to, had to expand it. A bit. Yeah, true. That's true, except I feel like I'm one of those people who, and maybe going on too, because we are literally starting a podcast called The Hyper Pop Show. Yeah. Where we're so obsessed with it that we want to see it keep going. And like, you know what I mean? And we talked a lot about how like the artists are kind of moving away from that sound um, right now. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I make music okay. and um, that's uh, something that I want to do is like make, I, I, I just really like it. I make, I like, I make hyper pop. Yeah. And, uh, and that's, just because I like it and I don't care if people um, uh, either, you know, think it's a bubble or not anymore. And I'm not saying, like, I kind of do think it is in a way, but yeah. like, I'm still going to make it because I like it. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, I think there, there's still like, you you could still find success in that. Um, I don't think the genre is like completely done for by any means, but yeah, I think it may be getting a little bit too oversaturated with. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is getting a little oversaturated in my opinion. Yeah, people are trying to do break-ins, and people are trying to do... Yeah, that's true. That's the, the, the only thing about for you, Peyton, nowadays, like a bunch of break-in clones. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> I think those people that are doing that, they're, I wouldn't even say it's bad music at all, but it's been done, you know? And I think I think if you're diversifying enough, you can still find success in, honestly, any genre. Even emo rap is like, nobody's making that anymore, but... Yeah, no one's making that. It doesn't even happen emo rap. Music. Yeah. It kind of got stale. People were, like, doing the same thing. Emo rap actually... It, I, I remember predicting this like three years ago. It's like, you look at artists like Garden, uh, he kind of became a little bit more hyper pop, but he had his, his roots. Oh yeah, true, he did. I remember hearing his new songs. Mm -hmm. And he killed it, did really good. Yeah, true, he did. Um, but I just think, I think the genre is going to evolve because I think, I mean, when Glaive first blew up, he was like, what, 16? Yeah, 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 he was young. I don't think you're gonna want to make the same music for your entire career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. They were kids, and they have to probably they probably grew and involved and like found new stuff to listen to. Exactly. I mean, I even so inspires them from, probably now. Even from the past two years, it's like my music taste has expanded beyond just hyper pop or just. Yeah, me too. You know, I'm listening. I was listening to country last night. I was like, it's kind of yeah, fire, nice. Bro. Yeah, it's always good to find your music taste. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Depends on the vibe. It's funny. I brought up Glaive. I went to Glaive's show last night. In nice. A, how was in, it? I, I saw LA. some stuff about it. On it TikTok. was really good. It was really good. He had this opener called Nine Mice. Uh, he's a, a Russian artist, but <laughs> I don't remember his name. But I remember the name. But I know they made a song together like, like a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. They performed. I forget that. his name. Something nine, I think. Number nine, nine in there, right? Nine Mice. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it, he was good. I like really enjoyed it. It was a really intimate venue. It was pretty tiny. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it was it was a good time. I don't I I, don't know. I went by myself. <laughs> oh, nice. But oh, sorry. Vibing, bro. That good? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> You're good, bro. You're good. The thing I think about hyperpop and why I got so into it and why I'm a number one hyperpop writer till I die is because I got into it in college and with 100 gex coming out and the word being like created with the spotify playlist it literally felt like a new genre to me like one of those that's not like a sub genre but that's yeah. like oh it's kind of its own uh, thing you can't really i mean you can attribute things like i guess glitchcore and is, is a little bit different but there's like some edm elements to it but it's what it's, it is it's the it's, word hyper pop for me that pop because the word pop is in it but and it describes it so well and it describes like the like mashing of everything together absolutely that i was like Oh, this is this is crazy. And then I guess the other thing I think about is like kind of there's like two. We talked about it on other episodes of the podcast. We kind of narrowed it down to like two waves that like, yeah. or at least the, the people talk about, right? First is like 100 Gex and Quinn, and then like the two is like Eric Doa, Glaive, and Breakins. I feel like that's pretty like universally accepted, but it's like that's that's what a lot of people talk about. And then is there like going to be a third one? Also, there's tons of artists I'm missing, obviously, and that's yeah. a very you know simple list, but it's just I would say one, there almost you know. is a third wave in anti-pop okay. with artists like i mean quadeca had his thing that he was doing in that scene for a while and then zach greer can almost be mixed in there and then aries can be mixed in there I i'd put zach that greer. as the, yeah. the three waves of it because three you got waves, quinn yeah. on one side and you got 100 gex on you know they're hyper pop artists and then you got aries and you know 
Quadeca and Zach Greer on the other side, and I'd say Eric and Glaive are a mixture of both of those sounds. Um, Definitely, yeah. But yeah, I think it's. I, I honestly have a hot take on Hundred Gags. I think they they blew up too early, and that's kind of what gave Hyperpop this almost bad reputation. I think people <laughs> heard. I, I think people heard the uh, Money Machine, and they they just immediately were like, "I'm never listening to this again," or "I'm absolutely in love with it." Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not a very digestible uh, <laughs> artist to listen to for like an average consumer. And if you don't like it, I, I really don't think you'll like. It. Oh, 100 Gex is the band that got me into making music. I would yeah. not be. It's the equivalent of the Nico and the Velvet Underground album being the album that only sold 10,000 copies, but then 10,000 people went out and created a band. Yep. 100 Gex is that. That, the first album. Oh, I, I think you're album. you're probably not the only person who said that either. They, yeah, they've inspired most people. Like most artists I've I've talked to, normally will say like, oh, hundred gex. Yeah, they should inspire a lot of people on the scene. They did. They brought a lot of people, but uh, they also I also think it, I think it's good and bad that they blew up better. It did inspire a lot of people, but it also kind of I feel turned a lot of people. Up. They're incredible, by the way. I just I want to put that out there. I think they're incredible. yeah, they're incredible. They're very good. And I still like their music. Other than Gex, who would you say like your favorite artist in any scene? I guess would be Eric is my other is my yeah. other favorite. With um, I mean I've listened to like all of his, Dante Red as well. You yeah. know, I met him once on TikTok Live, and that was. Uh, like he joined my live. Oh, did he? Um, on TikTok Live a while ago. Wow. Yeah, and that like made <laughs> Just my lurking, life. Because huh? <laughs> I posted a video of me singing, moving like a zombie in like a punk rock. Oh it's yeah, what's called? Car. Eric follows me too. Uh, my main account. Oh, did Eric follow? Uh, wait, which one? My main account. He followed me in the main account from like two years ago when I made a video. I wanted oh, no a song. Way. He saw and he followed me randomly no way, like two years ago. Yeah, Eric, I know. Eric, yeah, Eric's funny. I know. He comments on my video sometimes when he sees That's them sometimes. He's a big Breakins fan. Eric is a very big Breakins fan. Yeah. That video you did with him where he's in the mirror was excellent because I was like, wait. Oh yeah, that was that a good video. Him? It's gotta I, be. And then he, that was that was his idea too. Yeah. Uh, we were just at this like apartment. And he was like, bro, what if like we we just set up the camera right there? And he was like standing there. He's like, bro, what if I'm just in the mirror? And he, it happened to be right there. And uh, yeah, that was a fun video. I had to learn. Yeah, yeah, we looked like fun. Yeah. Yeah, I had to learn Inspire. how to dance a little bit. Not a. Yeah. Wait. Wait. I have a question about that. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Uh. Um. So, how do you go about working with these artists? Like making these. How do you go about working with them, making videos with them? Um, how does it go? Like, do you message them or do you message their manager or just something like that? It, it kind of depends. Like sometimes it's normally managers. Sometimes my management will reach out. The Denzel. Oh, nice. Midwest video was through my management. Uh, oh yeah, nice. To uh, Geffen, which is Midwest label, and they were like, "Yo." Yeah, nice. Uh, my videos were. That was when they were doing really, really good. Yeah. Uh, so they were like, <laughs> dude, the night before, I remember yeah. I was like at dinner with my friends and my manager texted me and he's like, hey, do you want to film with Midwest and Denzel tomorrow? And I'm like, I'm like, Den Denzel Curry? He's like, yeah, like, do you want to film a video with them tomorrow? I'm like, uh, yeah, of course. I'm like freaking out. I mean, Denzel is one of my favorite artists of all time. Yeah, me too. Me too. He's one of my favorites too. Yeah, he's incredible. And uh, getting that text and that, that was like three, four months into starting. That was my first collab. Oh, it was? No yeah, way. That was my first Yeah, that's sick, man. But uh, it really, I, I, it's really case by case i the eric one i texted eric's manager i've done a video with jaleel jaleel yeah i i, I don't know if you i saw remember that video. That was, that was yeah funny. where i read the tweet and everything yeah i remember that video uh i actually saw that tweet i don't even go on twitter that much but i saw the tweet and it was like if you ask me to do a backflip i'm gonna charge you 500 dollars. and i immediately was just thinking of video ideas from that so i uh texted my manager but i also knew who jaleel's manager was and i pitched him the oh nice and he was like yeah dude that'd be great that that seems like a great video so we made a day out of it filmed it in front of nice. a smoothie shop uh got a smoothie with jaleel nice yeah and he's uh he's a really nice jaleel is super cool. yeah he, i think everyone who's yeah. ever met him will say he's one of the nicest most like genuine people you'll yeah i honestly didn't realize how many of your videos i'd seen but i've seen like every single one of them apparently. yeah it's, you, that was you really, yeah, yeah, into the yeah it's <laughs> I was a few like, page, million times that's how i found him yeah. on a few page oh uh, that's funny man yeah i uh your videos are really yeah you really get really pushing the algorithm a lot yeah i uh it, it's funny because people will tell yeah. me they see my videos all the time and i feel like i'm just in my room doing it and it's kind of not weird it's not weird at all but uh i don't feel like i'm doing that 
you know, I feel like I'm just posting and like any creator will say the numbers become a little bit numbing once you see it so many times. So it's, yeah. it's kind of hard to really think of like the people watching them, but it is really cool when, when people message me and be like, oh, I love your videos or people will tell me it's awesome. Yeah, I feel you. Something happened to me too. Like I'm, I'm doing something. Yeah. Yeah, people message me too. Yeah, like really? my videos. It's awesome. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's cool. Good feeling. Good feeling. Yeah, it's a good feeling. What are your uh, what are your plans with the with the break and slumber? I don't know. Just keep going until I get tired. I guess. Keep going. To, do you want to like expand it at all, or do you want to just kind of? Keep... Oh, I'm expanding with this podcast. I guess you can say. Yeah. I guess you can say this podcast. It's part of the lore. I guess. It is part of the lore. I think you know I'm part of the lore also. Yeah, you're part of the lore. Yeah, I, I was called, <laughs> a lot of people are part of the lore. I guess you can yeah. say. No, you remember I did the face reveal. You remember? Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Oh yeah, what's it called? Uh, people that I paid you for that. People, <laughs> yeah, what's it called? People were telling me how much did, did did you pay him to do that face reveal? And I said no, I did it for free. Bro, I think it's I I did it for uh, another page as well. Underground Jamie. Yeah, yeah, I know what's it called. <laughs> called I thought I was called. I thought I thought you did it for like a lot of pages. A lot of them kind of copied me a little bit, but it's fine. That's all good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep doing face reveals. I know. Uh, I, love, anyone, I know. I love, anyone that I know. It was funny. <laughs> I was so confused. I'm like, I've seen your face before, and I was, like, and I think I knew who he was. Yeah. Like, I, oh yeah, I what's it called? No, I so remember. I was, like, didn't you like message me about Alex? <laughs> didn't you message me like, like what's going on? Did you message me that? <laughs> you were confused about you. Like what's going on? I was just brought. <laughs> you message yeah, me about it. A- that's funny. I, I always like doing like random stuff, like side quests almost, you know? Yeah, I side like, quests. I would like to associate that absolutely. with like, what I'm doing. Yeah, I thought we going to do good, good, fun little side quests now and yeah, then. Absolutely. Yeah, man. I love what you're doing with the page. Has, yeah, thank has, you. Like, Anyone from Breakin see like his team or anything seen the stuff you're doing? Oh n- no, but his manager does follow me, and he did, and and, and he did what's it called? He reposted one of my videos. Oh, Danny, Danny did. Yeah, he reposted okay. one. Of, yeah, so he reposted one of my videos like a few months ago. Yeah, Danny, Danny's also like doing really good. He's doing his like TikTok lives every night. Oh yeah, I see. I see them sometimes. I pop in sometimes. <laughs> I see them. They're pretty good. Yeah, he's crushing it. That whole team is... What made you, I guess, want to do that? Because... Do what? The fan account? Yeah. Yeah. Did you expect it to, like, do as well as it did? No. I... What's it called? I just did it for fun because I kept listening to Hyperconjunct when it came out. Yeah. I'm like, whatever, make a fan account. Let's see, I, I honestly didn't think it would go this long, but it went longer than I thought it would. Yeah, d- keep doing it. I mean, there's... Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, people like it. People message me they know they make their day sometimes when they see my videos on their, on their For You page. That's a great feeling. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a good page. People like it. It's, it's cool to have a, an impact. Yeah, it is. You, you really have Creative built a it. community around Breakins. You know, it's like he he's such a big artist, but yeah, you have a, your own community within that. Yeah, it's I do. Very, very important and very, I think a lot of artists kind of need that. Yeah, um, they need it. So some, some people say, uh, yeah, yeah. Some artists message me saying it makes, their, it makes them happy when I post them. Like they got yeah. more fans because of me. That's sick. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, especially helping out like sometimes smaller artists. I, not as much anymore, but I will do videos on smaller artists, and uh, I, I I almost like make more the, the bigger ones, even if they don't do as well. It is cool to see you are doing something for this you know community. Yeah. Have you ever tried making music? Yeah, have yeah. you? Yeah, I have actually. Uh no, I like I produce every now and then. I'm like actually, it's funny you ask that. I've been starting to produce a lot more. Uh, I'd like to do. I'll yeah. help structure some of Lunar's tracks. Who's uh, who's an artist I manage. So yeah. I'll help them with like structure, and I have like a basic knowledge enough in the DAW I use, which like, I use Logic. I have a basic enough knowledge to be able to like structure something to how I think it should sound. Uh, but I would, it's something I would like to get better at. And I think I'm trying to put like an hour or two a day into that, uh, but I don't always, I don't always have an hour or two a day. I, I try to at least ever get a little bit better at it. I have, not, I have not tried singing. You haven't? You should try. <laughs> Maybe. Singing or rapping. We'll um, I'll have to check out Lunar. Is it just spelled L-U-N-A-R? Lunar 949, yeah. Lunar 949, okay. And then uh, it's right. him. Right. Jesse right. Melancholy is also another artist I made. Uh, and then Dante Away's third. Oh, nice. We got a we got a music video coming out soon, so I, I just dropped a music video for the artist I manage. Brady, I don't know uh, if I've heard of them. Oh, what a uh, what genre are they? Um, rap, rap. Okay. Um, I produced the um most recent one, the music video one, and it has hyper pop drums. It has Umru. Okay. Umru's who I'm wearing. Oh, nice. Like Umru. Umru? Do you not know Umru? Uh, 
he did one of the remixes on the 100 Gex remix album. He did a remix for Ringtone. Oh, okay, that might be ringing a bell. He's like AG Melly's like pro or not AG Melly, sorry, uh, a uh, AG uh, Cook. What's his name? The guy who made PC music. Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, AG Cook. I think that's his name. I think so. But yeah. It's ringing a bell. Oh, I said, are you talking I, about PC music? Yeah, PC music. Yeah. So I was just saying, anyway. Yeah, the OG yeah. that have uh, a pop, I was right? a huge tangent, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you produced the last track? For my artist, Brady West, yes. Nice, nice. I got to check that out. Super that would cool. be dope. <laughs> uh, what was the third one? Lunar, Jesse Melancholy, and? Dante Oasis. Yeah, got you. Not Dante. If you look uh, up Dante, Dante Red's going to come up for. Oh, yeah, Dante Red will come up. Do you think Dante Red will ever come back? Uh, will he come back? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> was not Spotify account fake? I think you said it was fake, wasn't it? I think someone said it was fake. Uh, I don't know. I think it might have gotten hacked. Yeah, no. I sort of no, meant like. No. I sort of meant like. Do you ever think he'll no, like bring back the character? It got taken down do like a year or two ago. Like I think like a few months ago, I tried to find it. it got taken down. I couldn't find it. Oh really? Huh. I could. I couldn't find it. Uh, there's also a bunch of copycats. They like tried to like make the lore of Dante yeah. Red. And they're all like tried to copy his style, but they're not over him. People no, think it's him, but it's tell. not. You can tell. Some people think it's him because like they copy the same cover art and the same, the same everything. The same style, the same vibe. Yeah, yeah but they're not him. I, th I, I thought it was that, him, but it's not. I don't know if uh, Dante Rattle. Ever... I feel like Eric's I... really blowing up right now, so I don't know. He's blowing up because 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 of the ninja meme. Yeah. The ninja so... little taper fade meme. Yeah, it might be it might be interesting. Maybe a few years down the line, like other artists have done stuff like that. Uh, I mean, Mac Miller had Larry Fisherman, I think his name was. Oh yeah, people have uh, uh, had alter egos. Which was his alter ego, and then I don't know. I'm trying to think of some more. I guess Eric has. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that's something special. I don't know. I don't know how label stuff works with that, but if he can drop stuff mm -hmm. independently on one. And yeah, independent. Yeah, you're right. Different thing. Then maybe I don't know, but I think it's 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 up to it's up to Eric. Eric yeah, it's up to him. I think he did a previous some song like a year ago, a Dante Red new song he made of Dante Red. Uh, I think he mentioned I think he on the story. Yeah, that. yeah. I think he previewed some too on, on one of his Twitch streams, I think. Oh, really? He did. Has there been yeah. anything since Finale? Are those... No, he, he, he hasn't dropped anything, I think. No, I think... Uh, yeah. I thought, I, thought I saw a leaked version of Kickstand. Oh, yeah, there was. Yeah. It was on the a Dante Red account. Red it, it got hacked, I think, right? Yeah, I think someone hacked. Yeah. I, think, I think the Dante Red account got hacked. And now it's like gone, I think. I think now it's gone. You can't find it no more. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it'll come back. I think it, I that think was it weird. I think that's something that the fans, the, the old fans especially, would have. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, yeah, I know. I know a lot of people still like the Dante Red stuff. Yeah. A lot of people still bump it. Maybe, maybe. We'll yeah. see, I guess. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I remember bumping all those, like the um, the Dante EP, those, like the four songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that yeah, one. Five hours. I was never, he like, made... super into it until, like, mm. I guess, kind of re Yeah, me uh, too. I, I wasn't into it until, like, I started listening to the album, like, months ago. I'm like, yeah. damn, this is good. It is good. It's cool that those are almost, like, throw to him. Yeah. Not really right. throwaways, but uh, mm -hmm. not not something he would ever put on Eric. Yeah, it's kind of more like rap stuff, I guess. Yeah, Quadeca Quad like has the... that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, yeah, you're good. I was saying Quadeca's Scrapyard stuff that didn't make the cut. I think we said yeah. didn't make the cut for I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. Wasn't going to be on his next project. Oh, yeah, I do remember him saying that. Tweeted it or so. Yeah, I think he did tweet it. Yeah, sorry, what, uh, what were you saying? I was going to say um, th this guy, again, the Umaru, he, he did the Moving Like a Zombie, the seven minute remix. Have you heard? Have you heard? The seven minute? I don't think I have. You got to check it out. The seven minute it, remix, okay. Of of Moving Like a Zombie? You know, have you heard Moving Like a Zombie, the yeah. DOA song? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A classic Eric yeah. song. Yeah. It's classic. It has Sebi, uh, Louis Grant, and classic as the kids oh, say. It's, it's, it's really good. And Umru, Umru, Umru's the producer. That's why I'm obsessed. With, I got obsessed with him after that. Really, after dude. That's that. that's funny. You brought up song. Sebi. I don't know if you saw the the Playboy Cardi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We, I saw that. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. God. <laughs> that was crazy. That's wild. Yeah. Glad to see the Sebi and Eric are a classic combo. Have you heard Slide? Slide by by Eric, Eric? Doa and Sebi. Uh, is it on SoundCloud? It's on everything. Oh yeah, is it? I want to be the early album, right? No, it's a single. Oh, dude, no, I don't think I have. I've eaten five. I think it's on his first album. One of his first projects. That's epic. No, I'm low key not like excited to see what he's gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I never fully. I should honestly start an Eric DOA lower 911 because I know all of this. <laughs> Every single yeah, one. Yeah, you should. You know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? You I can't should. because I convinced someone to make it and then they who? got rid of I forgot who it was. I, I, in my Discord, I was like, why is there not an Eric DOA? There, there's a bunch of other fan accounts because there's a bunch of other. I remember when Eric one somebody made. But they haven't put on it in like months. Yeah, that was the one I told him to make. No, it was a different <laughs> one. I think it was called Eric Hater or something. How Eric much Hater. For it? Oh, oh much Eric for it. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's got enough fan accounts right now. I'm Eric not. Hater, <laughs> and and then there was another yeah. one, and there was another one called Breaking Hater. I remember Breaking Hater. Yeah, they stopped posting months ago. All, all of them quit besides me. I'm still here going Keep by myself. Going, dude. There's there's like crazy potential with what you have though. Yeah, but sometimes sometimes sometimes, sometimes it gets a little stale for me to post. Hey man, trust me. Trust I try. me, I know. <laughs> I, I, I I try to keep it consistent because I, I don't want to people down. Some people because because some people message me sometimes if I if I don't post for a day like where you been are you good? No, I I I know. And it's like I don't know. I think the number one thing on TikTok is consistency. Yeah, yeah. Be consistent or or it could, mm. yeah yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I take a break like for like a day, and then my views don't go as good as they were. Yeah, and I I, I, don't I try not to focus on the view. I try not to focus on the view too much. Yeah, no, that's like the number one rule with honestly anything in this industry, streams, whatever. It's like it is important to make sure you're keeping track of the views, but never make it the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go crazy about them. It's happened to me in the past too. Yeah, I think you gotta first off, you gotta enjoy what you're what you're doing because you'll get burnout. So yeah, quickly. true. I've tr I've I've honestly had a few burnouts since I started. Yeah, I feel you. And I just kind of had to keep going because this is what I do. But it does happen. I do get that. Yeah. Keep, keep how do posting. you how do you come back from it? You just keep posting. I I look at it like I try to not. I was talking to my dad about this, and he he like told me this quote. He's like, "Don't get too high on the highs. Don't get too low on the lows." I'll have weeks of just nothing is hitting, and that was like before last week. Before last week, I had like every video I was doing was doing like 10K. And that's not bad by any means, uh, but for what I'm used to, that's not incredible. And I was so like down about, I was so upset. The week after I had my biggest week I've ever had. I had four, four million view videos in a week. Nice. Um, and that was after the week of having like probably the worst week I've ever had. So I think burnout normally stems from me like getting down on views or whatever. Yeah, I feel you. Like, that's what I feel sometimes. Yeah, and um, it's like... Sometimes I look at the views, I just get burned out. And I'm like, ah. Uh. Yeah, I think I, I sometimes need to take a step back and realize, yo, that got 10,000 views. But it's still 10,000 people that appreciate the work you do and maybe sometimes don't appreciate it as much, but yeah, you're still watching it. But yeah, yeah. It's, it is like it's ups and downs. That's all this, this game is. It's ups and downs. Yeah, burn, burnout especially is bad when I just have writer's block and can't think of anything. Like I, I, I had that last week too. Where I was like, I don't even know what video I want to. Uh, oh, yeah. I know. Did I know I'll get another burnout. And then, I'm sorry. What was that? Did you did you say you've been doing it full time? Like, do you make do you do you make um off like videos do i make money off? yeah yeah. Um, yeah so the way that works is i don't want to get like super, i don't want to get super well, you deep don't into have it. to totally yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah. i do want to explain you don't get too into it if you don't yeah. feel like it uh basically a, 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 some of my videos i will get paid by labels or whatever because they want me to promote mm -hmm. uh, the music and i'm never i'm obviously never going to take one that i don't actually like but uh yeah sometimes so that's like how i make money and then i'm also going to probably start going into the creator fund and uh yeah i i, I remember back in the day i remember back in the day the creator fund was really bad back in the day but they made it better now i think it's a lot better now um, yeah 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 because i remember i had an old friend who make videos and he literally had to get a new account because it's created the creator fund like literally the shadow banned him, yeah, it's but bad. I don't think shadow banning is real. I don't think that's real. I think it shadow banning. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't it. think it is, honestly. Like, yeah, I don't think it's really. I don't think it's real either. It I think might, it's a myth. It, we'll make up. It might uh, be, but normally, if your account's not in good standing, you can look into that and see. That oh, you can't. Oh, you can't. Never knew that. Yeah, you can. There's like a little. I, I'll, I'll show you how to do it after. But yeah, you can show me the next time. Uh, Cause I have I, one of my old friends. Like I said, he used to make videos, and he just had yeah. to make a new account. Of the creative fun stuff, yeah. So, well, sometimes it's also like you just get too many strikes on your page or whatever. But yeah, yeah, that's what happened. I remember because I, I, I remember, I remember like a year ago, I had this thing where, where like they will have a thing on top of your account to say you got a strike on it. Yeah, which, which, which a lot of people got they, scared about, but then they got rid of it. I think people got scared of things. Yeah. Um. 
but I think I think when people say they're shadow banned, it's just like I don't know. I've had times where I'm like my views aren't doing well at all right now. I don't know why. Uh, and then I just look back and I'm like, oh, I wasn't making good videos. That's <laughs> I, like I wasn't I making quality content. And I was like, I kind of slowed down a bit. And I think that's what happens to a lot of people, especially for hours upon hours a day. Yeah. You tend to forget what a good video is and what a bad video is. Yeah. And sometimes you're posting the bad ones, not even knowing they're not great videos. Yeah. The views are down and you're like, oh, I'm shadow banned. Like, I don't think that's always the case. Um, yeah. But there is, I, I've heard of people like they have maybe a million followers. They'll get 200 views. Like, that's a little bit maybe, but really depends. Normally, normally, TikTok is actually good at telling you if they're not pushing a video and they'll kind of give you a reason sometimes. Yeah, that's true. That's, yeah, I didn't know. Any, didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of like, <laughs> behind the scenes that. So I get paid. To, and I, I want to start selling clothes pretty soon. Oh, yeah, I think you post that on your, on your Instagram before. I, wait, I can screen share the designs if you guys. I don't know if I. Oh, I don't have them. Yeah, I don't have them on here. They're on my laptop. Hey. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> But yeah, I got this hat. That's probably another way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen you put the hat before nice. on your story. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost ready to start uh, actually selling merch, doing other stuff. It's a little bit of planning. It's super dope. So you got merch. Do you have more videos planned? Um, yeah, uh, I have what, a... Yeah, what, mm -hmm. I'm trying to... This year, I'm really going to be focusing on expanding everything, and that's why I have my, you know, my three accounts instead of just one. I'm trying yeah, to I get every you. day on everything. Try it. Uh, really, no, I guess it's, I, I'm probably going to be doing a few shows pretty soon, hopefully. Oh, no way. Nice, man. Um, so that's cool. Like I live shows? I, live shows, yeah. Like with yeah. guests? With, with artists and yeah. Like that I'll, awesome. it's like an event. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll probably be doing that hopefully sometime this year i still have to work everything out then that'd that's be cool man to see yeah, that's something i'm really like passionate about and then uh the music videos are i i mean i've been doing that for almost 10 years now so damn so, really uh, yeah i'm gonna continue to do that maybe not as often as i'd like but i do want those to like kind of live on my page as well i'd love to dm you the music video i produced after if you're if oh you're yeah dude, send it, send wait, wait a minute you made a music video i didn't know you made a music video Elliot. you never told me this the music I, you've seen it we talked about which it. one the Brady West music video. Oh, that music video? video? You produced that music video? I produced, I produced the beat and I produced the music video. Oh! I got it done, I, hired I, the director, I, 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 made I, it happen, I, I, all I, I, that. I thought, I, I thought you might produce the music producing video. Because that's two different things, right? Beat making and producing, and they're kind of like, they get... And I get what you're uh, saying. They get, you know, used in different yeah, ways. I get what you're I did both. I like specifically did both on this song so that I could say, I produced this. Yeah, and It's like, okay. oh, I produced... That's nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was, that was, I went back, I was talking to you about for the Yeah, okay. Um... But yeah, uh, I had I had an excellent time yeah, listening dude, to you was, talk it about cool, it. It was cool. Uh, here. Here. Yeah, it was fun. Being here. E even even there were some difficulties on my end. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, dude, you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Wish you guys the best with this podcast. It was fun. Yeah, was thank time. you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, no problem. You guys have a good one. Yeah, you too.